Hi, I show you how to use the developer console to run a SQL query and also to update the data. Uh, there are a couple of ways to run a couple SQL query as social queries, um, but I show you for in this session how to run, uh, how to do this in developer console. Uh, in the gear icon, you see developer console, you click it, to right click open a new tab i'm going to right click and open a new tab so yeah um so this is my um uh developer console so in the uh, lower section of the uh, developer console you have you see different tabs here logs test checkpoints query editor view state progress problem you go go to query editor so i'm going to run a circle query I'm, uh, on account object select id name from account limit five i want to limit to five uh, I don't have a where clause. I just, for the sake of demoing, I just pull uh, five account records to show you. Okay. All right. You once you have the circle query, you click here executive lower left corner here. Then you, when you run it, you get the uh, uh, results in the top section. So this is the account, these are the names of the existing. If you want to um, update data, the you cannot run update circle right here. So this is uh, only for selecting, uh, for select statements only, or find statement in uh, social. So if you want to update, for example, I want to update the name of this uh, um, account, it is Dickinson PLC. Uh, you double click here, it is in the editable mode. So I remove the PLC, uh, that's what I want to do. I want to remove PLC, just uh, uh, change it to Dickinson and then tab out. You can see red mark tick is uh, that means it is you updated but it is not yet committed to database what you have to do is you can see um, you have to click save here um, you have to click here where my cursor where my cursor is query grid you have to click the save rows when you click here, it goes update, and then I run my query again. Or oh, it pulls a Dickinson. So this is how you use the Salesforce Developer Console to update records. You select it and you update it, uh, and you save it. So that's a one way of doing um, on Developer Console. Um, yeah. Thank you.